This should be a good match reaction. This should be an enjoyable one. Wow. What have we just seen? Istanbul winning their first ever game in the Champions League. The team that's seventh in the Turkish League. Making United look like... Um, actually, no, it wasn't them that made United look like under-10 schoolboys. United today. I think that's the game there where the tide starts to turn against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in terms of the pressures from the fans. Because that today... The Arsenal game at the weekend was horrendous. Coming into that off the back of the Leipzig game, to go from such a high to such a low was extreme. And somehow we've managed to go lower than that. That goal there that we conceded, that first goal that we conceded against Istanbul has to be one of the worst goals you will ever see a United team concede. The entire team running forward like under 10s, rushing because they all want to be a striker. And Matic was the last man back. It is the most basic, basic, basic thing. When you're going for, leave one or two men on the halfway line. Why was Wan-Bissaka? wan, wan was always there, but... I think to try and analyse individual mistakes and to try and analyse individual performances would be disingenuous to the main takeaway from that game. Which, unfortunately, is that United are absolutely lost at sea. I can't say anything else. And... As I said, to go from the extreme highs of PSG and Leipzig to the extreme lows of Arsenal and Istanbul, all within the space of two to three weeks, it just shows a team that, for me, isn't a team. It's a, United are a team which I believe is more reliant on individual brilliant moments from brilliant players. And Bruno Fernandes right now is a product of his environment. United are playing gash at the moment. And Bruno Fernandes is trying way, way too hard, knocking it first time every time to try and make something happen. And it just isn't coming off for him. And the rest of the team... Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Look, head scratching. I don't really know what to say after that because I knew this was coming straight after the transfer window. And this isn't to say that United haven't spent enough but no, United, no, she said that. United haven't spent enough. And the money we've spent, good God, that defence there. 80 million, Harry Maguire. 50 million, Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Was it how sure was 30 million? Twins ever came through the academy. You're telling me that a back four is all going to rush up the pitch. And not one of them is going to look sideways or backwards and goes, oh shit, we should probably, one of us should go back. Tactically inept. And I don't know whether that's down to, I don't, for one second, I don't believe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has told his players to all rush forward and completely ignore the defensive duties. But the fact of the matter is now there's too many things happening across the pitch for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to get away from it scot-free. Hooking to Anzebe at half-time, playing a back centre-back pairing of, of Matic and Maguire against a counter-attacking team. It, it, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ole? And he says he's rotating and resting, but why the fuck is Harry Maguire starting then? Rest him for Everton. I don't know. I, 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 don't, as, I don't know what to say there. As I said, for me now, that that's the game where the feeling is, is going to start turning on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Because you could tell that Solskjaer wanted to win that game today. It's why he went out with such a strong team. Even though we've got Everton away on Saturday morning. And the players just didn't do it. But the manager hasn't been doing it either. Just nobody at United is doing it. And Bruno Fernandes was the man who sort of inspired us to, to greater things from January to the end of the season, last, last season. But now, we're all lost at sea. There's not one person I can point to in that team that I feel is, is going to drag us upwards now. Bruno Fernandes was that man, but we've extinguished his spark. Paul Pogba, when he came on, was just as bad as everybody else in that, in that game. Edison Cavani, clearly not completely match fit. Mason Greenwood's 18, you can't expect it. Marcus Rashford scored a hat-trick hat two games ago and disappeared. 
for the two games following. Anthony Martial scored ahead of tonight, but you can't expect Martial, and I wouldn't expect Martial, he's not that sort of player, to drag everybody upwards. We're a team that's spiralling downwards from the front to the back, from the board to the manager. There's no positives to take from that game tonight. And going into that last 10 minutes, for me, it really wouldn't have mattered if we got two goals. Yes, we would have won that game, but it, w it wouldn't have glossed over the glaring issues that we've got there. Just that I'm staggered. Absolutely staggered by the goals we conceded tonight. Basic, it's not even basic. It's just, it's the fundamentals of football. And just to not be able to do those against Istanbul, man. I don't know what to expect now. United are a Jekyll and Hyde team. As I said, to be able to do that against PSG and Leipzig, but also to be able to do that against Arsenal and Istanbul, it just goes to show the team that is just... We're not a unit. We're not a unit. We're not playing together. If we have wins, individuals have brilliant moments. Marcus Rashford comes off the bench and scores a wonderful hat-trick. PSG was probably the biggest, best example of, of, of solid team performance I remember under United recently. And it was recent. So these players can do it. Solskjaer can do it. But when the heads go down in United, the heads... They're buried. And right now, everybody's there, head in the sand, arse in the air, no idea what to do. No player is there going to drag us upwards. I don't think Solskjaer is a man who is going to drag us upwards now. And I've got this real feeling inside me that Solskjaer, as United manager, is, is better as the underdog. Going into those games where United aren't expected to win, I think he can really G those players up in the dressing room. But going into games where we're expected to win... I just don't know if he's got it. And I always have maintained from the very start that Solskjaer is not the man to win United the Premier League again. He will, no matter what happens, and he always, for me, was going to be the man who came in and actually left the club in a better position than he found it. Mourinho can't say the same thing. I don't think Van Hal or Moyes can say the same thing. But no matter what happens, Solskjaer can. But for me, that was the game where the tide will start to turn on Ole. Goodison Park next. That's where Moyes' last game for United manager was. I don't think that Solskjaer is going to be sacked imminently. But those calls will now begin. And it's up to Solskjaer. It's up to these players. They've got games now. They've still got games. And ultimately, football is a results-driven sport. We pump Everton and we go into next week. I don't know who got after this, but if we go into the next few weeks and we, we start winning again, the tide will turn. But right now, there is a tsunami coming towards Solskjaer. And I don't know whether he is capable of getting this United team to hold it back. Let me know what you think about United at the moment from that performance. Solskjaer overall, let me know what you're thinking. But I'm staggered by how bad United were in defence there. And I worry for Solskjaer's future. Because if Arsenal was a nail in the coffin, that was just... That was four nails. That was horrendous.